Chicky Art! Hey kids, today we're going to draw the planet Earth. Start by drawing a big circle and then some squiggly lines to map out your land space, starting with South America, Central America and North America, which is all joined together. You can look at a map and copy the shapes if you're not sure how it goes. Brilliant, let's do Africa now. So we're drawing our continents. And now for a little piece of Europe. A tiny boot. That's Italy, you know. Now we can colour in. We're going to colour around our land with blue, of course. It's the ocean and the seas. Careful to stay in between your black lines, not going over any borders. So we're just showing one side of our planet, our planet Earth. This is where we live, folks. It's a beautiful place. Did you know that the Earth is mostly made up of water? Yep, that's right, folks. There's way more oceans and seas than there is land on our planet. Earth is known as the blue planet because there is so much water. And that's why we have life, because water is the base of all life. We can just imagine the other side of the Earth since it is a globe. Keep colour with that blue. Right, almost done. There you go, time to colour the landing. We're going to make it all nice and green using a lovely medium green colour, carefully colouring in between all these wiggly lines. You know, colouring like this can be rather therapeutic. I find it quite relaxing. How about you? And just look at our gorgeous blue planet. Isn't it fantastic? Wonderful South America. Hey, let's go to Europe next. Hey, what's your favourite country? I love India too. How about your favourite continent? Asia? Oh, fantastic. Well, we're colouring in Africa now. Have you travelled anywhere? Where have you been in the world? Have you ever been to Africa? And nearly done. Finished! And there you have it. The blue planet. Let's put some clouds on for a finishing touch. And there you go, Earth, our planet. Hi kids, how are you today? Look at this beautiful scenery. Are you ready to draw and paint it with me? Fantastic! Right, we're going to start by drawing the sun. It's easy, just a circle with some rays. Now some curvy lines for hills and a rainbow in between two of them. Let's do a tree. How about some fruit in the tree? Just some little circles. A boat. And a house with a triangle roof, a rectangle door, a chimney, and some tiles. Some windows. Let's add in a river, some grass, There you have it, we're ready to paint. Yellow sun, a blue sky. You can of course use crayons, colouring pens, pencils or paint, whatever you prefer. It's going to be a beautiful scene. Okay, let's go for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, dark blue, Purple. You can choose whatever colours you like, it's your picture. Stick to a traditional rainbow if you want. We're going brown for the hills. That's it. Lovely. One more to go. Going around the house. Done. Green tree. It's summertime, you know. Going around those fruits very carefully. We don't want to colour those in green. That's it. You're doing a great job. Well, I would love to live in a house like this, wouldn't you? With a rainbow and the sun is shining and there's a river, I've got my very own boat. Red fruit, what do you think it could be? Apples, fantastic. A brown tree trunk, 
Let's go for a lighter green for the grass behind the river. That's a great contrast to the brown mountains. We've got lots of brown and green. Going around the house. Lovely. Wow, what a beautiful garden. Let's do around the tree as well on the other side of the river. Let's paint the house. A yellow chimney top, yellow walls. Lovely. Hmm, let's go for red tiles. Excellent. And the edges can be blue, blue windows, and a pink chimney and door. Perfect. How about some yellow and pink for our boat? Blue for our river. Wow, that's lovely. It's a darker blue than the sky. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that I've heard of once in a lullaby. It is absolutely beautiful. Maybe you'd find it at the end of a rainbow. <laughs> Dark green for our tufts of grass, just like the tree. And there you have it. Perfect scenery. Hey kids, do you love sunflowers? I do too. Let's draw one. Yes. Start with the eyes and little oval shapes for rosy cheeks. Half circle for a mouth, a big circle for the head and of course, let's not forget the petals. These are gorgeous teardrop shapes and we're layering them. And a stem and some leaves. Darken around the border like a zigzag. And the leaves and stem as well, ready to paint. Okay, we're going for yellow of course because it's a sunflower. Let's do every other petal. We can do a different shade in between. Perfect. Going for the slightly darker yellow here, almost a golden colour. That looks really cool. Yay! Now the face. Let's go for brown. Going around the eyes, around the cheeks and the mouth. Almost there. Let's go for a pink rosy cheeks and mouth and a green stem and leaves. Brilliant. There you go. That was easy, wasn't it? Well done. You made a sunflower and it is beautiful. Hi. Today we're going to draw and paint a rose, a beautiful flower, starting with the stem and the leaves drawing the veins on the leaves. We're doing several leaves and then we start with the petals. Nice curvy petals, one by one, at the top and the side, making our way to the middle and then a little fold in the center. And let's not forget the thorns. Yes, roses have thorns. Right, let's go for a red rose. Of course, roses can be all different colours. Have you ever seen a rainbow rose? Oh, they're so beautiful. But red roses are probably the most popular and famous all around the world. Why? Because they are a symbol of love. Yes, you can give roses to your loved ones. Just mind the thorns. Green leaves, of course, and stem. And if you like, you can draw your favourite flower. You can find a picture on the computer or in a book and perhaps try to copy the shape. And a rose is so easy to make. And there you have it, a gorgeous red rose. You did it perfectly. Well done. Subscribe and watch more. Cheeky Art!